Welcome back everyone to Guild Wars 1. I'm so excited to dive back into this and it's only been a few days since I played it. Normally with these videos, it's been a week. But Guild Wars, we did the poll and so I delayed recording it until I knew for sure it was the winner anyways. I'm excited to get back into it. It's bringing me all sorts of fun nostalgia. <sighs> so what are we doing? What are we doing? We need to hit the log. Oh, oh, found something out in a comment that I thought was fascinating. Those players I saw, they were players. This person right here. Well, that's a level one. This person right here, level four, okay, or 14. Uh, there apparently is like a group of people, players, who intentionally never leave this zone. Because once you leave this zone, you can't come back. So apparently they just level in this zone. That's all they do which is just hilarious to me. Level 14, level 20. You should definitely be out of here by level 20. That's just hilarious to me. All right, I saw a quest of some sort over here. Something, yeah. It's also fun seeing comments from you guys uh, and your, your input on like, if and when you've tried Guild Wars 1 and how it went and you know, some of you are hoping that this series like gets you into trying it, I think you should try it. Just don't go hard. Like don't, don't treat it like it's replacing Guild Wars 2. Treat it as lore study. That's all it is. For If you're a Guild Wars 2 player, that is. Alas, I am behind on my rent and my landlord, Gelson, has run out of patience with me. Okay, my friend Miller Upton lives to the southwest. I know he'll help me. Okay. How could I refuse is what it said. <laughs> uh, so let's step outside and we'll decide which quests we want to do. I don't remember there being footprints. Huh, they're ever so subtle. Kind of odd that it's on the ground, too. Like, here, on, like, the hard ground. I do not remember that. Okay. Uh, so we've got... Boy, it's hard to... It's unfortunate you can't see multiple quests. That's probably where we're going to go. Yeah, we've got a couple of things over there. Poor tenants up there. Or down there, rather. That's on that side. The worm problem. Yeah, let's head over here to new warrior trainer. I wonder if you can... Yeah, I can't... I can't, like, open the log. If I could open the log on the map screen, that would be cool and helpful. But I definitely want to get some more skills, so let's go talk to the warrior trainer over here. What do we have over here? Aloe seed. <laughs> he dropped a tall shield. Excellent. I wonder if it's actually like a part of the seed. No, it's just a tall shield. That's all it is. That's really funny. What is this? No idea. But let's make sure, yeah, both of these are over in this direction. Gate guard Torin. I have a personal favor to ask of you. A good friend of mine has gone missing north of the wall. He's a ranger by the name of Ben Wolfson. I know it's a lot to ask, but if you could go north and look for him. Yep. Yeah, sure. So that's on the, oh, that's on the other side here in Northlands. Okay. So what do we do to get through there? How do I? Oh, there it is. It's just a bandit. How do you get? 
Huh, that's not opened yet, though. That's interesting. Oh, maybe you have to... Do I have to talk to him? Is that a thing? Across the wall. Ben is somewhere north of the wall. Find him. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. Maybe I get to that side from somewhere else. Like, maybe through here or something. Oh, what's this? I don't remember this. For a second there, I thought there was an invisible wall. Oh! Look at what I found! Oh, there's a... There was a bandit chasing me. Oh! I'm so smart. And we've opened the gate. Fantastic. Not that that's what I'm doing now, but while I'm up here, I might as well do that. Hey, 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 let's fight. Hey, hey. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. Attack him. Go, go. There you go. And I died. Because it wasn't attacking. I definitely told it to attack. Dummy. <laughs> I forgot what this deal holy damage. I wonder what the range is on that. It's funny that he didn't aggro to me at all. And you know, I'm, I'm actually wondering, like, I wonder what, what minor tweaks, quality of life. Whoa. Yeah, I'm running into some weird invisible walls. I'm wondering what uh, tweaks and quality of life improvements have been made that I'm not realizing. Like, I was so young when I played this. I mean, college. All right, well, if he don't want to fight me, whatever. All right, we got some Grawl over there. So I'm assuming this is where... Oh no, that's across the wall. Yes, it's in here. Okay. I love that you can see the people on the other side before you go into it. Huh. Well, you passed the first warrior's test, but that's not exactly a great measure of your skills, is it? I'll be teaching you a few more advanced techniques and then you might want to go see if you can find trainers who can teach you other skills. Yes, I will. Uh, you could warm up. Uh, I, sh I should warm. I should. I should warn you that there's trouble on the road. I was trying to read too many things at once. Creatures must be taught a lesson. Statue of Balthazar. Little Thorn Big Cloak is over here as well. Okay, so I did get new... Oh, okay, hold on. Let's go in here real quick. I did get new skills. But they're swordsmanship. Huh. So I can't use them without a sword. That's unfortunate. Or at least, well, I don't know if it's without a sword or if it's that because I don't have any points in swordsmanship. Huh. That's really unfortunate. 
we'll uh, we'll get that figured out. Uh, hey, apprentice, I am Grazden, a trainer in the of uh, art of protection prayers. It's a different kind of healing. Uh, we protectors use skills that help to prevent damage rather than restore health. What brings you here? A second profession. Or, uh, I only train those who have already learned something about being a monk. I do! I did learn! If you wish to take monk as a secondary profession, you should talk to brother... Oh, I gotta finish that quest then, I guess. Okay. Uh, greetings. I train necromancer. Okay. Okay, Grawl Invasion. Is that what this is? No, that's not what this is. Grawl Invasion's down this way. It's really unfortunate that it gave me skills that I can't use at the moment. I do have a sword I can equip and see if that changes it. Yep, that changed it. Huh. Well, for that matter, we might as well put a shield on. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's rearrange these. That is inflicts bleed. Okay, let's do that first. And then that does extra damage if they're bleeding. Let's actually put the rage thing at four. Yeah, that does have a nice range to it. I wish I wasn't running into an invisible wall. Oh, that has to be built up. Oh, I forgot about that thing. So what? Oh, it costs four or whatever that is. Okay. What was that I just picked up? Grawl long spear gear salvage item. Okay. Adrenaline, that's what it's called. Alright, well, if I'm actually going to be doing this first... I suppose it might as well actually be in this order, because that is the order I'm going to do them in. Blue die! Oh, I remember when I paid real money for a bunch of black die. It's the first questionable thing I ever did on the internet. But it worked! I paid a guy 20 bucks on some website to meet me in Guild Wars and give me a full set of black die for my armor. And I looked cool. I still have the armor on! I'll show y'all in a little bit. I still have that armor on that character that I paid money for back in, I don't know. Hey Siri, when did Guild Wars 1 release? Oh, you're worthless. Um, da -da 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 -da. It's like 2005? Yeah, April 2005. Yeah, so that would have been about 2006 that I did that. Oh, that's a relief. The only good growl's a dead growl, I say. You have skills that require adrenaline to, adrenaline to use. You gain adrenaline every time you hit a foe. Oh, excuse me, got the burps. Or hiccups or something. Every time you hit a foe or take damage in combat, adrenaline skills will start darkened and full. Yep. Yeah. I figured that out. Thank you, though. All right. 
Little Thorn Big Cloak, go to Baradins. Oh, after you enter the Academy, some of the places you'll travel to will have storage NPCs available who can help you to transfer items between different characters on your account. Got it. Go to Baradins Estate in Green Hills Country and deliver the cloak to Little Tom. I totally forgot that Guild Wars 1 had weapon-specific skills, which totally makes sense, because Guild Wars 2 clearly has it. I wonder... Oh, I forgot Spacebar is also used to interact instead of just right or left-clicking. I totally forgot about that. So like, I can do this. I want to test the range. Man, that's got a far range. So I can hit spacebar instead of. That's awesome. So yeah, you do your frenzy, so that then you gain your. Uh, what was it called again? Your whatever faster. Warhammer. Nice. Better. Three to five. Four. To, where was all this loot last episode? Jeez. Oh, you can switch between weapon sets. That's cool. Wait, can I go through there? Uh, I guess I can. Oh. No. Are you angry? Yes, you are. <laughs> oh yeah, duh. They're immune to bleed. That would make sense. damage does really good though <laughs> the bloom effect in this game is just so retro and I love it where did the music go <laughs> the music just kind of disappeared switch to a different track somebody hit next I don't know if I'm going the right way for this or not let's also though okay so this is going where that is and that Wait, what? Oh, no, that's all up there. That's all up there. Yeah, this is literally the only thing out this way, which is fine. I'm already this far. I might as well finish it. Just want to make sure I don't like walk past something else. I know I keep grabbing these flowers. I, I just feel like I remember there being a quest about them at some point.
see what this one drops. Tribal Blade. Oh my goodness, the drop rate today is nuts. Three to four. Is there a compare button? There is not. That's a shame. Alt does. So that's two to three. That's three to four. Oh, yeah. Give me that. Uh, Alt does do what, uh, what it does in Guild Wars 2, where it brings up the, the text. Very helpful. Wait, is this where I'm going? Oh, yes. Yes. Little Tom! Ah, my bearskin cloak at last! Tis lovely, isn't it? You took this pelt, did you? I'd have slain the beast my, my own self, but I tend to be a bit heavy-handed, so I do. Anyways, there you go, Tom. Oh, you got another thing for me? They call me Little Tom. Yeah, they do. I'm the axe trainer in these parts, not to brag, but I'm the best there is, the fastest, too. What would you like to talk to me about? The vineyard problem. Alright, we can do that. And then more skills. Warrior. Shrine of Balthazar. Okay, that's why I was just at. Greetings, youngster. I am Duke Baradin. I train young warriors in the art of hammer mastery. Yes, there is nothing that drives a point home like a hammer's mighty blow. I agree. Warrior challenge. And Etten. I don't remember Etten's in this game. Agnar the Foot has been causing trouble. Yes, I am not afraid. A new skill has been added to your skill and attributes panel. You have no free slots in your skill bar to equip this skill now. Click on a skill below to replace it with the new skill. Equip later. So the question is... Oh, this was an axe, not a hammer. Oh, but I do have a hammer. I have. Oh, I do have a starting hammer. Cane of spider. Or cane of shelter. Spider. I got spider on brain. Warhammer 4 to 6. Oh, yeah, Warhammer. Boom. Oh, we're filling up fast. Oh, we're filling up fast. Okay, cool. Hammer Mastery. So it's just one. Causes knockdown. Okay. So we'll get rid of these, although I've got two axe. What? So what, what axe do I have? Two to three. That hammer does four to six. I wish there was DPS. Okay. So we're just going to do that then, since I've just got one hammer skill. That's fine. Causes knockdown, lose all adrenaline. It costs six adrenaline. Wow. Okay. We may not like this. We may switch this out. But I do have points in hammer mastery, so it should be better to do this. Uh, so let's see, though. There, okay, I can fast travel here. Okay. L yeah, uh, I do think I want to help this guy out because I'd love to use Hammer Bash to interrupt his rage skill. I'm not going the right way, though. I would like to do this one just because I've already put points into Hammer, even though I think I can go back to the main town and reset those points. Gosh, this is halfway to Ashford Abbey. <clears throat> the red in here worms aloe seeds hey you know what they've been giving me great loot oh that one wasn't a one hit oh large aloe seed oh how okay that worked are they healing him I think they're healing him so let's get the small ones dead first. Got him knocked down. Okay, got that one. This is really funny. Not what I was expecting to find over here.
See, look at all this loot they're dropping. It's fantastic. I'm going to have to pick and choose. All right, let's get the colored ones first. So I got two holy staffs. They'll probably sell for a lot. I don't remember how to identify things. Break hammer, five to seven, four to seven. Oh yeah, new hammer. Excellent. Ornate buckler. Let's get rid of the... Wait, that says armor 10? I don't understand why that says armor 10. Use salvage kits to produce crafting materials. Okay. So let's drop these. A natural shield. Or not shield, seed. Sure. Okay. Cool. New axe out of that. That was worth it. Oh, here he is right here. Ah. There he is. Hey, buddy. He dropped an ornate buckler. Was I able to pick that up? Sure thought I was full. Oh, I need to go sell stuff. So now we got to head back. Hey, I did it. You defeated Agnar then? Well, well, not bad for a beginner. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got to spend attribute points. Oh, okay. Let's go. How many do I have? I've got five. Let's just do strength for now. And leave the rest up in the air until I... Oh, uh, I thank you kindly for getting rid of those aloe seeds. Oh, that was a quest. <laughs> I just did it because it looked fun, but it was actually an important thing. Okay, that's great. Sweet. Okay, well, let's head back to Ascalon real quick. Bless them for free fast travel. Halbrick skills. My services are reserved for those who serve the Ascalon Vanguard. Okay. I do not. Uh, weapons. Okay. Sandra, what can I do for you? Uh, I'm sorry to bother you, but I have heard some Im uh, impressive things about you. Yeah, I'll go get your brother. Uh, if you focus on completing quests and missions, you can level up faster than you would just hunting monsters. You don't say... So if I want to sell, what? Oh, this is select items from your inventory below, then click customize. Oh, oh, I was expecting to buy. Select an item from my list below and then click craft. Oh. Okay, well, hold on. Well, I do want to look at this. Uh, 
Did that customize it? Plus 20% damage. Okay. That's interesting. I don't know what I just paid for that, but I paid something. Oh, Prince Rurik. I forgot you were up here. Oh yeah, you got the flame sword. A group of char have broken through the gates. Yeah, I'm with you. Oh, there's a fight going on over here. Now, what is this side? Oh, this is north of the wall. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is where the cutscene started. That's right. Or, well, this was in the first cutscene. All right. I want to find someone to sell to. There's a historian down there. I'm here looking to document the stories of only the greatest of achievements. Tell me, what is it about you that makes you incredible? Sorry, I'm not re ready to be judged for my greatness. <sighs> that has to be added for the people who stick around, right? Like, they're the only ones who would have anything. I did see a merchant over there. Okay, yeah, we can head over there. That just sounds like something they would add for the players staying in this region. Which sounds like something I would 100% do. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Let's sell some things. No, wait. How do I identify things? Because I want to know, does that gift giver? Okay. Costume maker, festive hats. Okay, I want to look this up real quick. Guild Wars 1. How to identify items. There we go. To use an identification kit, double click on its inventory icon. Okay. So it is a kit. I wonder if the merchant sells them. Ah, they're right there, but they're 100 gold, and I have zero gold. <laughs> I probably just spent the gold I had on customizing my weapon. All right, well, let's sell things. Oh, iris flowers sell for a lot. We'll get rid of that. Yeah, I'm not going to use the horn bow. Okay, so can't sell things that are zero. That's fine. Um, Yeah, let's keep the... No, that's just taking up space in my inventory. Get rid of the die. Tribal blade, let's keep. Lodestone. Cane of shelter. I'm not going to use a cane. It's a pretty good tall shield. I want to keep these because I want to I want to identify them before I sell them. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Well, I think we're going to call it there for today. We're not going to have super long episodes with Guild Wars 1 because I know this game is old. It's dated. It can overstay its welcome. And I want to do the best job at selling it to you. So we're going to keep it nice bite-sized chunks and we will see you guys tomorrow as we finish up week 12 with world of warcraft thanks as always for watching audios goodbye